you know, there's certainly some uh, issues here going on with uh, her speech and a little bit of her understanding. So UC San Diego Medical Center stroke specialist Brett Meyer is examining a suspected stroke patient to determine whether she's a candidate for clot busting drugs that can only be administered within a few hours of the onset of a stroke. But the patient is in an emergency room 140 miles away. Normally Meyer would only be able to consult with the ER physician over the telephone. Instead he is using advanced two-way audio and video internet technology dubbed Stroke Doc, a new telemedicine system. Ma'am, I'm going to ask you to show me your teeth. Can you show me your teeth? Do what I'm doing. Show me your teeth. Okay, good. Keep them like that and relax. The reason we want to look for uh, facial asymmetry on the smile is to see if maybe there's a droop of one side of the face or the other, which could um, be consistent with the stroke. The technology developed at the University of California San Diego and tested on patients at four distant community hospitals could have an immediate and profound impact on the treatment of stroke patients around the world and on the use of telemedicine itself. Telemedicine has been used for many years with an assumption that it's been effective but this has never been tested. Our goal here at UC San Diego Medical Center was to prospectively assess whether telemedicine was indeed superior to telephone for acute medical decision making. And what we found was, the answer was overwhelmingly yes. That conclusion stems from clinical trials involving 222 patients with results published this August in the British medical journal Lancet Neurology. Funded by the National Institutes of Health, the study compared the success rate of decision making when stroke specialists examined patients at distant sites, over the telephone, or using two-way internet video and audio. The study's finding a 98% success rate for telemedicine versus 82% for telephone-only evaluations. The benefits so clear-cut, the trials were cut short. Uh, this is a 66-year-old right-handed gentleman. Um, today he woke up around 8 a.m., didn't notice anything unusual, uh, and he developed a headache and sweating. The Stroke Doc system was engineered by the California Institute for Telecommunications and Information Technology, CalIT2, at UC San Diego, with industry partners BF Technologies and Qualcomm responding to what they were told mattered most. The thing that was most critical in this application was the fidelity of the representation of the images, you know, so no jerkiness introduced as a result of errors and, and any other artifacts the wireless or other internet uh, congestion events might inject into this thing. So it really came down to uh, problems of dealing with uh, error control, you know, minimizing the effect of errors so that you would have absolutely smooth video. And it didn't matter if it took an extra second or two or even three seconds uh, before, you know, the interaction produced the results that they wanted. The solution included wireless access for the stroke specialist to make sure that the examination could happen quickly. If you're in a community hospital and you suffer a stroke, but a stroke specialist is not right there, especially in a situation where, like stroke, minutes matter and time is brain, if you can't take care of that patient immediately, then perhaps the outcome can be devastating. For the engineering team behind Stroke Doc, the subsequent trials have been gratifying. It could never have happened if it didn't have the kind of partnership and the kind of environment that Cal IT2 brought to the campus to leverage the kinds of strengths the medical school already had. The physicians and engineers now look forward to improving the stroke doc system as broadband wireless access becomes more widespread, even commonplace, and available from ever smaller devices. Imagine the future where we can very simply grab a handheld or a um, small PDA and be able to take care of patients at a moment's notice from no matter where we are with broadband or other technologies at our disposal. In the context of public health, in the context of reducing healthcare costs, the cost of this technology I think is minuscule compared to the savings and you know lost productivity and lives saved. Uh, so I think this paves the way for rolling out these kinds of systems much more systematically in our healthcare system. It's clear that telemedicine's time has come. Trials such as Stroke Doc, which have shown clear superiority of telemedicine over telephone for acute stroke decision making, will enable more practitioners to use telemedicine in their daily practice.